Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we were not in 1.3. We currently are. This is the newest patch. We shall see how the game holds up now. And our mission currently is trying to get Evelyn out of a scrapper's little yard here. One of the scrappers actually ran away. Uh, simply interpersonal, some sort of issue with the people who run this whole show. So, oh, shiza. Who saw me? Who saw me? Uh, I'm assuming that was that one. So, real trick. Coming over here. Without causing issues and being seen, therein lies the trick now, doesn't it? Because I'm going to try and do this as sneaky as possible. I do have the new way out just in case. Every little small movement. Interesting. Kang Tao recently expressed interest in the purchase Time to of grab and oh. kill. Oh yeah. All right, and that brought us to Street Cred 27. Interesting. Oh, another Trilby. Nice. Not gonna need it, but it's nice that we have it. Showtime. All right. 75 years of cyberware. Masutomo Takohashi. Hmm. Interesting. Give a quick read. Kind of because I'm curious. A century ago, losing a limb meant tragedy. It meant living with permanent disability, with severely reduced physical capability, and often with chronic pain. What's more, people with disabilities frequently suffered from widespread discrimination, both active e.g. employment bias, and passive or unconscious, e.g. poor infrastructural inaccessibility. Today, assuming the dismemberment victim is financially stable, loss of limb amounts to little more than a minor inconvenience. Oops, scrolled a little too far there. A century ago, employers could impose specific dress codes, hairstyle regulations, and piercing and tattoo bans, Many even pressed their employees to maximize productivity, often in violation of the law. They will do this regardless. I say this working with a company. They will do this regardless. You're screwed. <laughs> Such as through anti-pregnancy policies. I have not seen those, but I have heard of them. Luckily, my company doesn't have something like that. At the time, however, deeper involvement with employees' bodies was simply impossible, legal or otherwise. But with the advent of cyberware, employers in the second half of the 21st century have imposed requirements for skin, bone, muscle, organ, and eye replacements in order to improve performance and workplace effectiveness. Yeah, I could see that, and also I could see that being an issue. Because at that point, you are not just partially owned by the company. You are fully owned by the company. A conversation I had to have with the company a little bit ago. Hmm. <laughs> Weird how the world will just contort itself to make stories outside of the real world remind you of the real world. Just absolutely concerning. <sighs> anyway, in extreme cases, security sector employees are commonly urged to undergo so-called full-body conversions, or full cyborgization. Cyborgization? Is that a word? I'm sure they made it up for this, and it makes sense, but... Really? Cyborgization. 
Okay. Much has changed over the past 75 years from when cybernetic implants first hit the mass market. Many in the field of history of technology have argued cyberware is a positive force for progress, and many have argued the opposite. This book attempts to describe and contextualize the changes, for better or worse, that it has introduced to our professional and personal lives. How has cyberware led us to where we are today, and where is it taking us next? That's an interesting, interesting notion, and I, if there was an actual book, I would like to read it, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case. I would really love to read it, though. Mainly because I want to know. Okay, well, I don't think I'll get down there in time, and I'm correct. Good thing I waited. Oh, I didn't see you. Hello. Mark you off. Alright, can I just turn this off? Please? No? Great. Fantastic. I totally didn't want to turn that off because it'd be annoying. No, not at all. Alright, let's just jack into this and hack it. Huh. Well, how shall I go about this is the proper question, I guess. Hmm. I only have six real goes at this. Hmm. Interesting. I'm severely limited in my options here with this. Let me go this route. Hmm. Huh? Maybe. Uh, no. I'm starting to think that I made a mistake. Oh well. Oh well. E9, 1C, 1C. That's going to be the only option I could take. There's not much else I could do. Oh! They increased the font size for loot that you get. Well, at least for the components. Okay. Interesting. All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, that's some imagery. Alright. Not sure who saw me there. I'm going to assume it was this guy. Hmm. Question is, how do I get over there without having the other ones notice me? Interesting thought. Um... Can I use that to distract them? Alright, maybe. Maybe I can get down here fast enough. Maybe. Yep, I can do it. Kill and hide the body. Bye. And I shall take that pistol ammo beautiful weird i had heard in this patch we were supposed to automatically pick that up interesting okay well maybe not everything's working as intended for item components thank you oh and i can open this door got the blueprint be there in a sec try to find a way to the lower levels okay I could do that. At least attempt it. Alright, we got someone there. Someone there. Okay. Oh, they have a lot of people over here. Is this someone? No. But I might as well just breach protocol them just to get it done and out of the way.
Huh. It's not going to be any quick and easy way to do this, so I'm just going to go with that. Okay, cool. Does it... As long as I can hope. Please tell me there's no one. Please tell me there's no one hidden in places I don't want them to be. Okay, um... Okay. Well, that was interesting. Okay. That is definitely interesting. Okay, I guess she went over there, which is fine. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it over there. In time to... Oh, but okay. Just barely made it. Okay, and there's apparently someone... Right there. There wasn't aware of prior. Ooh! Ooh, you had to move. You had to move, huh? Okay. Mark them. Okay. Grab you. Walk you away. Kill you right here. Is there enough cover? No, of course not. But that's not the point. Okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. I won't hurt you. Really? Body? God damn it. Okay, let's turn that off, huh? Okay. Ooh, that saved me a little bit. Candy ass bitch, show yourself. Candy ass bitch, is that the best you can come up with? Okay. Turn that off. Okay, good. Whoop. That was definitely not what the subtitles said, but okay. Um, maybe. Really? Well, they're at least aware of what I'm able to do. Which is about all they can do, considering... And I'm gonna wait it out, see how well that works. And death. Cool. Uh, short circuit. Boom. And let's keep them from moving a little more. All right, and overheat. Finish them off with that. And down they go. I'm gonna try and keep this as a... Sneaky as possible, considering. I wonder, can I close this? I can. Well, ain't that interesting. Uh, 
Okay, um... Reboot optics, first of all. And then... What was that? Okay. Grab. That's what I was hoping to be able to do. And buy. Cool. Still not picking up ammo on melee kills. That's a little annoying. Bloody pig triweave muscle tank. Bye. Alright. Well, so far so good. Bye. Pick up your stuff. And then, bye. Okay. Well. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Could have gone far, far worse. Alright. What do you got here? Some decent stuff. Decent stuff here. I have no idea what this is. Don't know why that's sitting in the box like that, but okay. Alright. Alright, and the other one who left. Don't have to worry about them. Because they are nothing. Okay. Can I go in here? I can. Stress ball. Okay. Didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, there's things up here. Interesting. Question is, can I get up there? Get up there easily. The answer is kinda? Aha! <laughs> Was that worth it? <laughs> Maybe not. But, I got something. Which is always better than nothing. Alright, so these guys are dead. Don't need to worry about them. Uh, I guess I can just wander around at my leisure now. Considering I have everything more or less unlock. Ooh. I see cards. And another bit of loot. Max dock. Alright, cool. Alright. And I guess the only other place to go is down. Because I've done almost every other direction. More or less. Oop. Abstract painting. What the hell is... That big old fucking thing sitting in the middle of a floor for. Aha! Engineering up. Decreases charge time by 5%. It actually tells you in a different font that's actually differently colored, too. Hmm. They, they did do some quality of life changes with this patch, I'm noticing. Some significant quality of life changes that are not unappreciated. I'll give them that. I'll absolutely give them that. I just don't know if it's enough. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. All right, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Now the real trick, we going through here. Without being detected. V, hold up. I'm close. I'm oh, there you are. We need oh, hello. to get to level minus two. Oh, you run a that chow. Where they're yeah. keeping her. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright. Go through that door, but Well that's not good. Already not a good sign. The shirt. You're not even following me. You okay? Okay, something about the AI pathing and following you is a little broken. 
<laughs> okay, a lot broken. A lot broken. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. Huh. I see the piles of clothes. Unisex, various sizes, various materials, dirty, worn, and torn. Has had many former owners, including Evelyn Parker. Okay, now I see what they're on about. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Well, take that. That'll take you. Bye. The fact that she didn't notice. Chemicals, the invisible killer. Pretty sure I've already read that at least once. The fact that she didn't notice is hilarious to me. Okay. I'm going to wait till her pathing goes the other direction. didn't realize there was a camera here, and it's also turned off. Preemptively. Whoop! Yep, no, of course they did. I have no idea why her pathing went this direction instead. But, doesn't matter anymore. I got extremely lucky. Thank you. Although, to be fair, I wasn't intending on... Got something that'll keep him busy. After that, we slip past him. Okay, now. Oh. Well... Why let them live? Eh? I don't see why. Whoa. Wow. They just mass harvest synthetic implants off of people. Jesus. Precision Rifle, the M179E Achilles. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Well, I'm not done looting the other rooms yet, so what the f fuck? I have no idea what all that noise is about, but okay. Alrighty then. Uh, looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Yep, looks like it. Eskif. Oh, there's that was the what? The blah 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 blah, 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 blah. That was the thing that the maelstrom guy was taken, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Get high at home. Yeah, well, I know I've read that. Jesus. Yeah, it is only the tip of the iceberg, because they definitely are cooking a lot of other crap. Hmm. 
Oh, can I not go through that window? Yes, I can. Okay. Knew I could. Oh, that, that goes forward. So, okay, well... What do you mean, what the fuck? Back in the samurai days, we place ads in this thing looking for background dancers. Oh, yeah? Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. I'm sure it was. Doesn't make it any less weird. A wicked acid trip, but not the kind you think. Huh? Ever wondered what it feels like to fall in a pool of acid? Well, wonder no more, sort of. Before I ever even got at my copy of Kings of Acid, my curiosity took a nosedive once I found out it wasn't about that type of acid. In any case, body horror has such a rich tradition it's a damn near Herculean task to find a fresh angle to take on acid baths. But holy shit, did the devs do it. You pay as Archer Kerr, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, a klutzy and somewhat awkward rocker boy who gets himself tangled up in a shit, a shit strum with maelstrom. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be shit storm, but, you know. Signs are hard to make, especially when it's next to words that are similarly shaped. Maelstrom... Shitstrom, mm -hmm. yard sard, same shit. The boar goons entrusted Kerr with handling a mysterious shipment containing a protozoa capable of instantaneous regeneration. Okay, but in an unlucky twist, a painfully common occurrence for our hero, a rival gang ambushes the exchange at a corp science lab and Kerr is pushed into a vat of mutagenic acid. That's when the trip kicks in, if you will. The rocker boy begins undergoing constant mutations. Eyeballs on stalks, shifting skin, throat tentacles, and that's not even the real freaky stuff. Ooh. After every victory in combat, Archer absorbs the genetic code from the blood, spat blood splatter of his foes, making the already delightful hack-and-slash combat even more gratifying. The constantly growing spiral of possible mutations makes for a rewarding way to spend experience points and build in strong replayability. Hmm. So it's a video game of some kind. Fair enough. All in all, Kerr's ultimate motivation is seeking bloody revenge against his music producer who cast him who cost him a lucrative album deal and brutally murdered the rocker boy's boyfriend. How the how the fuck? How the fuck? Okay. Story and gameplay are geniusly intertwined, and the pseudo brain dance implant shipped with each game copy really helps immerse the players, immerse players in the utterly fucked mutations, where searing pain turns into power jacked ecstasy. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. Okay then. Alrighty, 100 million euro dollars. Did I ever... Oh, I didn't loot you. Memory wipe. That's a quick hack. Target exit combat state temporarily. While the hack is active, an enemy outside combat cannot enter combat state. Huh. Call it white glove hacking. Oh, they actually have little bits of text with it now, too. I call it white glove hacking. First you get your hands into the short-term memory, then you wipe sensory data to zero. Simple, elegant, leaves no trace. Bam Bam Pam? I'm assuming that's the name. Okay. Either way. Sex and Chrome. Okay. Time to hack this thing. And away we go. Hmm. 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 
E9, BD, 55, 1C. There we go. Wasn't able to get all of them, but got some of them. Decent amount as is. Better than nothing. Okay. Away we go. Oh. First things first, need to make sure. Interesting. Don't know what they're doing in there. I'm not sure I could know. But either way, seems to be a lot of bodies in here. So. Oop. Hello. You. The fact that you just sat there and let me shoot you dead. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, more... Ooh. Power sniper rifle. SPT-32 Grad. Huh. Interesting. And a lot of Euro Bucks to boot. Can I say Euro Bucks? Is that blasphemy? I don't know. I don't care. And a lot of dead bodies here. Jesus. They just don't seem to care what the bodies are leaving behind, huh? In fact, they seem to... I have no idea what they're doing here, but if it's... They're dressed medically. I have no idea. But there's a pile of organs here. Which means they do something with the bodies. And I don't think I want to know what. Really don't think I want to know. Alright, now that I'm done in that corner. Uh, it's its own little area. Are. Okay. And a bunch of cash. Nothing else in here that I can see that's worthwhile. Beyond the Border of Empathy. Last night on TV, I saw the following scene. A Militech squad in some debris-ridden corner of the Middle East fighting the enemy. Terrorists, political opponents... Shit, maybe they were just actors. It doesn't matter. It never really mattered in the first place. One of them was wearing recording equipment, scrolling a brain dance. I can count on finding that fresh BD in any shop within days. Turn it on and BAM! You're in a war zone. You feel what they feel. You taste the blood in your mouth and the reassuring grip of the scroller's rifle. But that's not the worst of it. The worst is how the editor will be sure to try and show off the rifle. Get a good shot of the manufacturer's name. Another split second and you'll be ready to buy the exact same one. Even order it with the same dents and scratches. Free home delivery. Only 20 or 30 years ago, we were asking ourselves, when will we cross the border at which empathy becomes irrelevant? Now, standing in the shelled-out ruins of a home with a rifle in our hands, it's hard to believe that border ever existed. Jesus Christ. Okay, some of those noises were a little weird. Ah, I can force that open. Nice. Cool. Didn't know I was capable of that. Oh, that's sex and chrome. Oh, this was the other room I was in. The one I was over here. Oh, nice. Cool. Shortcut porn. Nice. I'm all about that. What do we got in here? 
thousand euro dollars. All right, okay, I'll take that. That's some good muns. It's also a thing I kept seeing over here, but I'm not sure what that was about. Either way, it doesn't matter. Tur. Sure you do. Two live ones there. Yep. I'll distract him. You take him down. What are you thinking? You're feeding us. Get out of sight. Screw with the pipes. Show's about to start. Find cover. The hell? Now, take him out. They're on us. There we go. Oof. Owie. Okay. Well, we did it. That's the important part. We did it. And apparently that rifle got so hot from the shooting that it's glowing red. Okay, well. That could have gone better. Could have gone worse, but could have gone better. And... Well... I am running low on health. Not that low, but lower than I'd want to be. So I'll eat that. Safe and sound, Night City Gangs. Hi there, it's your little friendly neighborhood canine, Sergeant Dobbs. This useful little guide you're holding contains essential information on the Night City's largest gangs where you'll learn which districts to avoid, how to recognize gang members, how to avoid dangerous situations. Animals. The animals aren't real animals. They're freaks of nature, pumped to the gills with strength-enhancing strength hormones. Really, that's the first word I screw up in a, one of these, really? They look more like piles of meat than people. They generally avoid cyberware with the exception of cosmetic modifications that supposedly make them look more like, well, animals. They're extremely aggressive and don't need an excuse to start a brawl. But despite their name, the animals are not a territorial gang. You can find fierce, hostile packs of them throughout the city. Huh. Had to have a little drink. Sixth Street Gang. From a distance, they could be easily mistaken for soldiers on leave. Military uniforms, combat boots, buzz cuts, shouting oorah every chance they get. But don't let appearances fool you. These are violent, dangerous thugs, ready to slit your throat without the slightest hesitation. You'll want to watch out for them, especially in Visto del Rey. The Mocks. Handsome girls, beautiful guys. But wait, it's a trap. They'll reel you in with their charm, and when you're least expecting it, bam, your eddies are gone. Or worse. The hole in the wall that passes for their headquarters is called Lizzie's Bar. Best seen from far away and never entered. Fuck you. They're perfectly fine. Maelstrom. If you ever find yourselves in Watson's industrial area, and it's better that you don't, watch out for the sinister faceplates. That's Maelstrom. To be part of the gang, you have to get your eyes and nose cut off and replaced with demonic, fiery red optics. Ouch! If they do that to themselves, who knows what they'll do to strangers. Better to leave that mystery unsolved. Tiger Claws Effervescent neon tattoos with Asian motifs, katanas and shurikens, Racing bikes? These are some of the trademarks of the Tiger Claws gang, with a noticeable presence in Japantown. Ignore them and they shouldn't bother you, but do something to provoke them and it's sayonara, baby. Uh... I hate that writing. Valentinos. Golden grills, golden implants, golden crosses, and golden machetes. Sorry, um, I had to cut. I sneezed in the middle of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say hola to the Valentinos. Despite the Catholic symbolism, they're not exactly love thy neighbor types. Those who get in the, their way usually end up chopped into pieces and tossed into the Del Coronado. Jesus. Voodoo boys. These predominantly Haitian gangers are based in Pacifica, but they hunt their victims elsewhere. The net. The voodoo boys are the most skilled net runners in the Night City underworld. But beware. That doesn't mean they're not dangerous in real space, too. Be sure to give them a wide berth, or you might just end up like one of their black roosters without a head. Jesus. 
Ooh. That's a quick way to jump up. Just melee. Okay. Anywho. Grab whatever that was. I saw something over here, I thought. Yes, it was over here. Bitch V3 dual reinforced tactical vest. Increases armor. So it's already got a mod in it. Okay. Nicola. Grab that. Okay. Covers. Classic. Can't go wrong. Jesus. Handcuffs intact and in solid steel, not solid human blood. Plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Jesus. That is messed up. Fuck, dude. Alright. So we'll head over here. Grab all of that money and a foot loose. Foot loose. Foot loose. Get up your Sunday shoes. Okay, I'm sure there's probably a live body in here somewhere. Nope, never mind. See what I can stir up. Well, that's your forte. Go ahead. And nothing I can get to in there. All right. I can't use technical ability on it myself. Damn it. That sucks. Interesting. Anything? Anything at all? Okay. I don't think she's going to be able to tell me anything more than that. Okay. Well, I ended up going a little bit over time of what I needed to. Um, because I had a little bit of a thing I needed to get back to after I was done. I will deal with inventory and whatnot uh, off camera. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, I'll have a little more time to record for that one. Uh, <laughs> as I have a couple things going on. I'll get back to you on what that is. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and hunting around this warehouse trying to find Evelyn. And this warehouse is a lot bigger than I imagined. Uh, so it's going to take a bit. But we are getting there. We are getting there very soon, probably. And we are definitely taking out a lot of this. I don't really know if they're a gang. I think they're just a group of organized scavengers. But uh, we're dealing with them either way. And dealing with them rather stealthily. Except for that little blast bit where we shot them all to bits. But that was really the only way we could deal with them. So there we go. And hopefully we find Evelyn soon. For you.